What's up, everybody? Uh, tonight, I'm going to give Brian's brand new sauce, the uh, the seventh circle, a shot. I'm really excited about this. Um, I haven't got to review a hot sauce yet, so this is something new and exciting for me. Um, right off the bat, I ordered it early this week, uh, Monday or Tuesday. I want to say Tuesday, um, and today's Friday, and it, and it came in uh, wrapped very nice. Two, layer, two layers of bubble wrap. You can probably kick this thing down a flight of stairs and, and not have... Um, any damage. Uh, the label is pretty ridiculous. Um, pretty cool. It's got some dude with some bloody eyes and, and gagged with a seven on his forehead. And just to put it into perspective for you, I left it on the counter when I went to the store to get more beer. When I came back, um, it was facing the wall. My wife said it was too scary to keep looking at. So, um, Brian, definitely good job um, on the label if you're trying to scare the hell out of women and I'm guessing children. So, um, open or give it a shake real quick and uh, open this thing up. Um, the smell is, you can definitely smell uh, the seven pot. Uh, it, it, it's got that uh, typical seven pot smell, but there's also, it, it, it's like a fruit puree, if you will. The best way to put it is um, uh, a fruity undertone to uh, to the seven pot. It's got seven ingredients, the pineapple, strawberry, yellow sevens, parsnip, lemon juice, water, and brown sugar. Um, and I can definitely smell the fruit right off the bat. I want to say that the, the pineapple is more forward and the, the, seven, uh, the strawberry is kind of in the back, but you uh, definitely get that inject of the, the seven pot. Uh, there's still residue, you can see kind of on the bottle, uh, still residue of the the ingredients on the bottle with the liquid kind of settling to the bottom after you you shake it a little bit. So uh, I'm gonna actually shake it up one more time and then give it a taste. Nice, and, nice and shaky. A nice thick pour. A little bit more. I don't want to spill it all over my pants, but. Um, very easy, almost like an applesauce pour, or the, the consistency I would see, say with applesauce, just not as um, chunky. So let me give it a shot. Um, immediately you feel the heat, but it's not overwhelming. It's got a great fruit taste, but I can definitely feel it's kind of it kind of tricks my brain a little bit because I'm expecting with that fruit. Uh, not to get this heat, but uh, I would say it's somewhere in the neighborhood of four to six on a scale of the ten. I get the typical uh, seven pot kind of more in the back of the more in the throat than in the front of the mouth. At least um, now it's kind of coming towards the lips, um, but. God, the, the fruit taste is, is amazing. You can kind of, you, you definitely taste the pineapple at first. I'm having trouble getting the strawberry to come through. Um, you can you you can taste kind of the tartness of it, but it's not as forward as the pineapple. This is more um, pineapples listed first, so I'm guessing that that's the most uh, heavily used ingredient, and so you can definitely feel that. Um, I'm not getting very much acidity. Uh, more fruit and then now it, as it starts to, to wear down and the heat just starts to come forward you can you can definitely identify a shift in the flavor of the mouth um you still get the fruit but you're definitely getting more of the seven um the seven feeling kind of in in, in the throat a little bit in the top of the roof of the mouth but not too much in the front as you would in some of the other uh, the chilies um very pleasant heat, not overpowering, uh, something you could, this is something that I would definitely say I could share with somebody who's not a chili head. Uh, they would get, they would get a nice little kick in the pants, but they wouldn't be running for the water. Uh, the fruit, it keeps on coming back. It's actually really nice that it's lacing that heat. So it's not just the heat. Um, I can definitely feel that the heat's going to remain, or the heat's remaining, um, on on the throat. I'm gonna burp a little bit, and you can kind of still taste. It's 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 nice that when you burp, you're not tasting just that seven pot. You're, you're going to get more of the fruit. 
Um, just from the taste off the bat, I would say I would gravitate towards more like this screams to me Thanksgiving or Christmas, like a Christmas ham, Thanksgiving turkey. Um, I would want to douse, uh, douse that with it. And I would even say something like, um, kind of like a teriyaki route. Uh, it's to me, it's kind of like a pineapple salsa, pure, but pureed, and it's got that heat injected into it because you can feel um, where that pineapple is coming in and a little bit of the tartness of the strawberries. Um, I don't get much parsnip, um, but that's just the base actually. Uh, but that that sweetness is coming through. Maybe a little bit of that brown sugar is kind of taking away some of that that tough edge of, of the seven pot. But like I said, I'm uh, a teriyaki without a coat of the teriyaki sauce. I, I could get that kind of flavor from grilling a nice piece of chicken and maybe serving it with some grilled pineapple and a little bit of this on, on, on top, basting it with it. Or like I said, when you go to Thanksgiving with your family, break out some seventh circle there and look at you crazy with the label. Maybe you got to cover it up with your hands, but that's what I'm, I'm gravitating towards. Um, overall heat level is not very hot. Uh, not, it does a good job of replicating what a seven pot, where it's going to burn, but it's not going to, it doesn't give you near where the seven pot heat is at. Um, the only other kind of downside I would say is it's kind of unavoidable, but I don't really like the way it looks. <laughs> and and I, I know that's, I'm kind of just picking at it, but, um, it, it literally looks like a cross between, um, a, a pineapple salsa that's been pureed and, um, applesauce. So not too appealing with the actual look of, of the sauce. However, as soon as you put it in your mouth and that taste, it kind of just puts everything else to the wayside. So, um, overall, I really enjoy this. I'm definitely going to try it again on, uh, a, a number of different, uh, types of, uh, applications, but uh, Brian, this is a, definitely a awesome sauce. I can't wait to um, cook Thanksgiving turkey, some ham, or maybe I'll just grill up some chicken and, and baste it with some of this stuff. So, Seven Circle Sauce, uh, nepperspeppers.com. I will uh, link it below, but uh, overall, very, very good flavor. Um, nice level heat and a scary as hell <laughs> label. So, thanks again.